Hey guys, for today's game, I'm going to be playing Zeri in the top lane. Zeri is the new champion that has just released on the PvE. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my webcam for one second. While you guys go ahead and read these descriptions for spells. I'm going to hover over each one of them. That way you can pause the video at any time and look at the spell. Including all the ratios and all that. Just go and pause and read as needed. I literally haven't even read these abilities yet. This is going to be my first time playing the champ, and uh, we're going to try it out. So, I went ahead and took Exhaust for top lane, just in case it picked, like, Jax or Trin or something as his blind pick. Uh, so, let's see. Zarya shields herself for 60% of the damage she deals to enemy shields and gains 10% move speed whenever she receives a shield. Zarya's auto attacks are treated as abilities and can be charged up by moving and casting this ability. Wow. Okay. What's her range like? Her range feels like Gnar. What the? Wait, I mean, what was my Q? Wait, oh, that's a skill shot. Oh, my Q's a skill shot. Okay. Interesting. I'm just going to shove this in for all two. Alright, so my W is just slow. I'm gonna look for a little two power spike. Oh, I got her flash. Hey, this Q is actually kind of nice. So I can do this wall. I can't do it while I'm moving. Okay, so there's this little bar under me. Whenever I fill that up, I get an empowered auto, it looks like. Okay, is E. Zeri dashes a short distance and vaults over any terrain she touches. Okay, so I'm literally telling. Greatly extending the dash range. Oh, that's so cool! Wait, his champ is so fun. Let me move this around. Alright, so recommend items Kraken Slayer. Okay, I'm just gonna go Kraken then. I'm just gonna follow the recommended items for this video. Let me know what you think is OP on Zeri, and maybe I'll make a second Zeri video uh, where I test seen. out some different items. So let me know down in the comments below what you think are gonna be the best items for Zeri. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll choose your comment and uh, try out the build. Wait, can I dash over this whole thing? Oh, I can. Wait, I can get back to the lane so quick. And this is a 23 second cooldown. Maybe Zeri's a mid laner. Maybe she can play like an action. What's the range on this? Okay. I'm <laughs> just gonna hop over the wall. I missed my W. I accidentally put a second point W. I wonder if AP Zeri is going to be broken, like, with W max. Maybe, like, the W is kind of like Kai'Sa. And you can go AP Zeri. That sounds like it could be fun. Okay, the terrain gliding thing is pretty broken. When I saw it on the cinematic or whatever, I thought it'd be, like, a really high cooldown. Man, that range is actually pretty good. So, this ability is treated as, a, as, a, as an attack. Zeri fires a burst of seven rounds. So my attacks are treated as abilities and my ability here is treated as an attack. That's gonna be a little bit confusing. I got a pickaxe. Wait, can I ride? Oh, I was gonna see if I can ride like a barred portal. I bet there's an angle that you can do that, but that wasn't it. <laughs> okay, so I'm liking this uh, this champ so far. She feels pretty good. Now, if I was up against like a Jax or something top, I don't know if there's any way I could just like kite. 
I mean, this is a really long cooldown. So it's not like playing Lucian or something where I can just uh, use the ability and... Uh, Wait, what happened with my W? Okay. It looks like my W didn't even hit, right? Oh, I need to read her ultimate. Man, my also is popping off. Oh, so actually when I use my, um... So I need to be using my Q more. Also, I feel like this champion would be great with tier. Okay, I, I definitely need to build a tier on this champ. <laughs> okay, so I literally just like, instead of auto attacking and right clicking, I just press, um. I just press Q. What's my E cooldown? 80? Later! <laughs> just <did that. laughs> Switch my alter, I just... <laughs> Alright, let's read this ultimate. Zeri discharges a Nova of Electricity, dealing damage and gaining three stacks of overcharge for each champion hit. Okay. Seems pretty nice. Actually, let me uh let me build tier. So I feel like that item would be pretty good. And then I'll sell this by this and boots. Alright, I'm just gonna dash over this wall. Okay, and when I dash a short distance, my next three shots of Burst Fire pierce. Oh, I was right. I told you guys that this champion pierced. I literally saw on the um, the cinematic, I was like, wow, her autos are piercing. I got to be faster. Yeah, so this, oh wait, this says, since this has no cost, it's not gonna stack up tier, right? Oh wait, my Q does stack up tier, even even though it costs no mana. That's actually really nice. An enemy has been slain. Champion actually felt like so instead of right clicking on the minions, I'm wait. Can I? Oh, I can auto attack with this too. Wait, she's a breacher. Where is the kill? I think kill went mid. Wait, so my range is actually pretty nice. I thought my auto range was gonna be like, uh, I can just. Oh, this hits wards too. Zapped. My officer is in the right space at the right time. Yeah, I'm actually stacking tier really fast because even though my Q cost no mana, it's uh it's stacking tier. Man, they should make every ADC like this. Where you legit have to, uh, like, aim your autos. That would actually be so cool.
I think if I do that at the right time, I can do that full combo without even taking a turret shot. I'm gonna dash some cooldown. Lethal tempo works so weird on this channel. I just get cracked out. Look how fast my, my Q attack speed was too. Okay, so if I use my E, I get a little bit of wave clear too. Take a start. I want to start roaming around the map. Okay. So I got Kraken. Oh, I, I guess there was a dueling setup with Trinity Force, too. Okay, let's get back up. Yeah, this dash cooldown is so long, though. So this champion can definitely be punished by um, like dive champions like Trimmer, Jax, Yasuo, all that stuff. But uh, against like Kale or maybe someone that doesn't have like that dash capability, like if you win against like Set Top, this could be pretty good too. It's saying Rage Blade. All right, let me try the Rage Blade. Wait, so since this counts as auto attacks, I'm doing a burst of seven rounds. Do I apply Kraken Slayer twice? Wait, on hit effects sound broken with this. No slowing down. Yeah, that actually sounds really nice. If um if I can apply Kraken Slayer, let me see. No, it's just every three Qs is what it is. Turret plating will soon fall. <laughs> I'm coming in towards mid. I want to try out this ulti. So I gain attack speed for every person I hit, right? An ally has been slain. Shut down. An enemy has been slain. Dominating. Uh, I'm definitely gonna chase this guy down. Oh. I didn't even have to ulti. I got two kills. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see him. Ah, uh, range isn't long enough. Oh, wait, maybe we can get on to the uh, kill now. Kill might come after me. It's nice I could like auto into, into the bushes, kind of check it out. And so I can like save onto my bar for my regular auto. Double kill. I wonder what's the longest dash spot. I mean, that seemed pretty good. I gotta watch out for Evelyn, but I have exhaust. How many people 
people at his ult right there? <laughs> that was such a good Diana combo. So Diana with my ult, I just hit everybody. I was went like flash in. Yeah, Rage Blade's gonna be nuts on this. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. I got Rage Blade in base. I love the dash. Like when you look at this, if the pulse hits terrain, it expands into a laser that expands the area. Oh, I didn't read that part yet. So that's why it turned into a laser. So if I combine it with terrain, it actually makes it better. Oh, did you see somebody? Yeah, I feel like I need it back, but at the same time, I kind of want to go here. Oh, the Lux combo. Uh. No! I knew I should have backed. I knew it! SMG break? I mean, I'll say SMG or something pretty good. We can also just go, like, full on on hit. We can go full on on hit. So, what's this damage? So, attack speed. So, three stacks of overcharge for each champion hit for six seconds. Each stack grants 2% move speed. So, if I hit all five champs, I'm getting 30% move speed, right? Your team has destroyed a turret. No, I take it back. That's 45% move speed. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know about the champion's top lane viability, but it's definitely fun. Like, just a fun champ overall. I kind of like queuing to auto attack. It feels kind of nice. It's like I said, I don't actually have to hit like full on on target. Oh, yeah, also going off. All right, I just want to fight and limit test. Where are they? They're hiding. Oh, maybe she's baiting. They don't know. I'm dead to the turret. <laughs> I got no shield or anything. Death. Let's do Baron. I probably need to keep testing. I mean, if my team ends, that's fine too. A fully charged attack deals. Bonus max health magic damage and slows by 40% for 1.5 seconds. Maybe we could use this to kite people out. Can I, oh, I can go over Nexus. Alright, I'm gonna place this bottom. And then let's go for Baron. Alright, let's see how much damage this champ does to Baron.
Okay, it looks like we can do it, but it might be a little bit risky. Oh no, Evelyn stole it! She stole it and got out. What a legend. I mean, I guess we didn't have to flip the burn. I was just wanting to test it out. I gained so much attack speed with that. Oh, he just blasted me. I think he flashed Gale Force in with the four shot. Alright, let's get clear in here. So each one of these cues counts as like, it's not like it's gonna be seven round burst, right? It's not like it's seven auto attacks. Which, I mean, for as far as applying on hit effects. But maybe it will count mirror mana as seven different hits which if it does then that's kind of insane but for every other on hit effect it seems like each q even though it's like seven shots are going out it's just like one tick of an on hit effect will join me. hey lunacy you think for the seven for four months me. yeah new champ I'm trying it out Okay, so your splash damage goes up to 100% at max rank of this. That's kind of nice. Although, I think it like this slow is just way better. So, it looks like it's an E max uh, last. Pretty much always. And then probably Q first, then W next. Maybe if you go AP. Oh, montage! I remember what you did to me earlier, Jin. Oh, that guy's rapping. <laughs> Alright, I think we can end the game here. I have exhaust if the Evelyn tries to go hard on me. Test me, Evelyn. <laughs> no, save Diana. Uh -oh. Okay. But Jin still does uh, major burst damage with the setup. So you just gale force me and auto attack me for all my HP. I am so squishy. Ends. Ooh, I mean with the pop off. Alright guys, let me know what you think of the new champion Zeri in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, okay, uh wait end. Oh no, she did. Oh, never mind. Oh, she went into be um anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what build you want to see next in the comments down below. Maybe uh, AP's area could be pretty good. But anyways, thank you for watching. Later, everybody. Have a wonderful day.